Hello, this is lecture six with Professor Louis Sharp. Thank you for watching. We will begin now. One look at the Philadelphia skyline and there is the feeling that you are entering a modern city. It is a modern city, but Philadelphia is also an old city that has historic importance for America. Moreover, it is a city with a strong cultural scene and many outstanding centers of learning that reflect its heritage as a birthplace of American democracy. Pennsylvania is a large state in the eastern part of the United States. It is surrounded by seven other states, including New York and Maryland. Philadelphia is the largest city in Pennsylvania. It lies just across the Delaware River from New Jersey. Philadelphia is only 100 miles from New York City. The name Philadelphia comes from a Greek phrase meaning city of brotherly love. It was founded and designed by the Englishman and Quaker William M. Penn in the 18th century. The town was laid out with many parks so that people could walk from home to business and back. At the center of Old Philadelphia is Old City Hall, completed in 1791, now a natural historic site. Old City Hall was the home of the Supreme Court of the United States from 1791 to 1800. From 1790 to 1800, when the capital of the United States was moved to Washington, D.C., Philadelphia was the nation's capital. One block north of Old City Hall is the Liberty Bell Pavilion. Nearly two million people visit the Shrine to Liberty every year to see the famous bronze bell that says, Proclaim liberty, throw all the land to all the inhabitants thereof. This cracked bell is a symbol of freedom, and in its own unique way, it is the very symbol of the city. Explore the, the history of liberty by visiting Independence Hall. The brick building is located between Philosopher Philosophical Hall and Liberty Bell Pavilion. An outstanding example of Georgian, Georgian architecture. This unpretentious structure was built in 1748. The earliest plans for a dem democratic government were made in the rooms here, including the Constitutional Convention in 1787, which produced the Constitution of the United States of America. Just behind Independence Hall is Independence Square. The first public reading of the Declaration of Independence took place here in 1776. Washington Square is located right next to, right next to Independence Square, one of the original parks laid out by William Penn. This park once contained the cemetery of many of the American patriots who fought and died in the Revolutionary War. The tomb of the unknown soldier is in the very center of the park. One of the most famous symbols of the United States was created here in the Betsy Ross House. The house was built in 1740. John and Betsy ran an upholstery business here from 1773 to 1786. Betsy was chosen by the 1776 Congressional Committee to make the first Stars and Stripes, 13 stripes alternating red and white and 13 white stars on a blue background. Why 13? One stripe and one star for each state. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, and Rhode Island. On July 4, 1960, the 50th and final star was added when Hawaii became a state. 
More than 200, 250,000 people visit the Betsy Ross house each year to see a bit of American history. You're standing right now on the cruiser Olympia. The Olympia is the oldest steel warship afloat anywhere in the world today. She was built in San Francisco, California, launched in 1892, and she is the last remaining veteran of the Spanish-American War of 1898. The ship has been in Philadelphia since 1922, which was when she was retired from active service with the United States Navy. The crew of Olympia was fairly large, about 33 officers and about 396 enlisted sailors. The submarine right here is the submarine USS Bakuna, which is a World War II submarine. She is a diesel electric powered submarine, not an atomic submarine like modern submarines. She's older. She's 57 years old this year. She's a veteran of World War II. Submarine Bakuna operated in the southwestern Pacific Ocean against ships of the Empire of Japan. And she actually sank three Japanese ships and got a half a credit for helping, for helping sink another ship. Each year, about 850,000 people come through our doors. We are one of the most things to do in the city of Philadelphia. Most people come by and visit the Benjamin Franklin National Memorial, which is a free space for our visitors. Just through these doors here is a huge statue dedicated to Benjamin Franklin. He was very much a scientist. He was very much a politician, a philosopher, he was a man of many talents, and today we use the Benjamin Franklin Science Museum as a tool to inspire kids of a new generation to learn about science. And we do that through exhibits, and we also do that through our IMAX theater and Bell's Planetarium and Astronomy dedicated to Benjamin Franklin here at the Franklin Institute. Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love and the home of many historic places to early America. It is also a thriving modern American city. That is the conclusion of lecture six. Thank you for watching. This is Professor Lewis Shark, and I hope to see you next time.